people don't understand it's your life, it's your work. Sure, yeah. Like, uh, uh, yeah, it may sound stupid, it may sound silly, but it's like you're a Van Gogh or something. That That's the way I think, you know. When I'm dead 100 years from now, if people see this movie, I want people to know I really did it. Guys, I am sad to announce with a heavy heart that Stephen Lambert has passed away on August 18th, 2023, which would have made him 68 years old. So I'm going to share my thoughts and experience with Stephen. Uh, after I give you guys a, a quick refresher, I'm going to read his bio from IMDb and then share what I think about the whole thing. It, it's tragic. You know, like, there were some posts that people had put up a couple of days prior to his passing. You know, saying to send prayers and other things and, and that things weren't looking too good. Even talked to a mutual friend of ours the other day, actually the day before he passed, and he was telling me the situation was really bad. But, you know, we were praying for him, hoping for the best. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, that didn't uh, work out. So... Just a quick refresher on Stephen Lambert. Of course, you know, stuntman, actor, great martial artist. IMDb's got a mini bio. It says he's a stunt coordinator, stuntman, stunt actor, fight choreographer, martial artist, and actor. He has also worked as James Wood's stunt double for 25 years. He's also worked as Martin Short's stunt double for the film Inner Space, as River Phoenix's stunt double in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and Jason Statham's stunt double in The One. He has done stunts, worked as a stunt double, and choreographed or coordinated countless movies, including American Ninja, Revenge of the Ninja, Always, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Dragon the Bruce Lee Story, Remo Williams' The Adventure Begins, Total Recall, Time Cop, Star Trek Insurrection, Casino, Titanic, The Ocean's Eleven Trilogy, and White House Down, among others. His work has garnered him two stunt awards, Best High Work in Remo Williams' The Adventure Begins, and best fight sequence. He was inducted into the Stuntman's Hall of Fame in 1986 and was a member of the Stuntman's Association for 33 years. He had the honor of appearing in the first issue of Premier Magazine and in American Cinematographer Magazine, Inside Kung Fu and Karate Illustrated as well. Lambert also holds the distinction of being the first stuntman to ever perform on the Statue of Liberty, which of course that was from the Remo Williams film. So, I... This is a video that I really was hoping I would never have to make. Steven Lambert actually was the first guest that I ever had. And it kind of pivoted my channel into doing a lot of interviews. Uh, so I'll, I'll never forget that, you know. And of course, you know, I talk about making the 80s and 90s great again, action and martial arts films primarily. I cover other things too, but that's the big focus. And I had covered a story on the judo Jean LaBelle who had you know, also passed away within the last couple of years, unfortunately. And then, uh, yeah, the Judo Jean LaBelle Stephen Skull story. But anyway, long story short, Stephen Lambert and his writing partner had seen that video and his writing partner actually reached out to me and said, hey, Stephen Lambert was actually a witness and he'd like to talk about that on your channel. And I thought, well, that sounds very interesting. I'd love to get somebody who was there actually talk about it because there's just like a lot of hearsay and rumors regarding the whole thing. So to actually get somebody there to talk about it, uh, it was a fascinating discussion. And of course, he has the book where he discusses that and so much more from the streets of Brooklyn to the halls of Hollywood, which I've recommended to so many people. It's such a great book. You can get it linked in the description below. It shares basically how he got involved in Hollywood. And Stephen uh, Lambert, in many ways, was a pioneer. It was him and a couple of other guys like Al Leung and James Liu who really were like at the forefront of being martial arts stuntmen. So, and martial arts were, you know, really kind of taken off in the 70s and 80s. So of course they did the stunt work, but they could also do the cool fight scenes, the martial arts, the weapons, everything. So Steven was really um, important in movies and, and that's why he had such a, an amazing career. You know, not only martial art movies, I mean, he's been in action movies and everything that I talk about on this channel, like Rambo 3, Total Recall, uh, Revenge of the Ninja, Ninja 3 The Domination, American Ninja, Time Cop, which he was heavily featured, had a nice fight against Van Damme in that house at the end, and, 
and showed up elsewhere in the movie as well. And then uh, aside from Time Cop, what else did he work on? Like just so much stuff. I even worked with Steven Seagal, you know? So I did a series of videos and interview with Steven Lambert. You should check out the playlist. Uh, there's so many. Actually, I've recorded so much with them. I still have more videos in my archives that I can actually edit and put out. So I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna do that. And that's that's one thing about this channel, by the way, which is which I think it's important because it preserves the legacy of guys like Stephen Lambert, you know, and, and a lot of other individuals, of course, both living and you know ones who have passed. And uh, you know, like us all, will pass in the future, unfortunately. But this channel, you know, it preserves that legacy, and I think that's important. And I'm glad a lot of you guys get enjoyment out of that. And uh, you know, a lot of you are my age who watch the channel and you say, hey, this kind of takes me back to my childhood when I was growing up and the martial arts and all that stuff. And the action movies were like so wonderful, you know, they were like a big part of our lives and they helped shape us. And, and, and the channel is almost like a time machine of sorts to kind of bring people back and, and that's why a lot of people connect with it. And it's guys like Stephen Lambert sharing the stories and all the behind the scenes stuff that we always wondered about but never knew about, you know. Um, yeah, it's made the channel what it is. So I have to thank him and, and everybody else who I interviewed. and. Yeah, he will be missed. He will be missed. And I was actually planning to do some things with him in the future because I know he was writing a book about his experience with Bob Wall. They were going to work on a film together. And then Stephen was also had a, a few different projects, like a ninja movie that was supposed to be really good. And, and actually, he was going out uh, to Israel because I believe he's going to be a stunt coordinator on another film. So the guy was just full of energy, full of life. Always a pleasure to talk to. I've had so many amazing conversations with him outside the channel, just, you know, phone conversations. I unfortunately never got the chance to meet up with him in person, though. Never got the chance to buy him lunch and sit down. But, you know, I always remember all the great conversations we had and, of course, the interviews that I can share with you guys. And, yeah, it, it just, what happened to him, I don't know if the family has, uh, you know, revealed anything or wants to talk about it, but it just seems so sudden and truly tragic. And yeah, he'll be missed for sure. But he was still pursuing what he loved, his passion. Uh, he had a lot of plans for the future and, you know, that kept him young. You need, enthousi you need to be enthusiastic and have passion in your life, right? And he definitely, had purpose and meaning and you know from what I could tell uh, an enjoyable life overall and sadly it, it did unfortunately end um, so anyway rest in peace Stephen Lambert and your movies and legacy will continue to live on it'll inspire stuntmen and actors and other martial artists and um, it's it's very sad man and I do not look forward to doing any more of these kind of videos in the future because I do interview a lot of, you know, older generation. And, you know, someday they will they will meet up with Steven and, and hopefully they could um, reminisce about the times they were here, right? <laughs>